you guys look at the wiki, you'll see uh, something very similar to this. I put the torch up top so you can see what's going on. But this is uh, an AND gate. You have two torches, and they're both uh, powering a single torch. And only when the two inputs are powered, turning off both the torches, will the output be powered in the back there. Now this one's been a kind of a nemesis of mine because uh, the way I usually use it is um, I think of it as if you have a circuit here that's being powered by two sources, they both have to go out before the circuit will go out and allow the torch to go on. So in my, for my money, if, if your AND gates look like this or something very similar, you're doing it wrong. Um, let me show you an example of what I mean. Uh, this is a pressure plate and a button, and only when uh, they are used together will the uh, torch come on. I ha I'm applying power to this torch, turning it off, so this is no longer receiving power, this part of the circuit, but it's still receiving power from this torch behind the, uh, the button. But if I uh, press the button and turn off that torch, the other torch will come on. So we have two power sources, this torch and this torch. They're both powering a single circuit that's connected together. And that circuit is powering something, whether it's a torch or a door or whatever, it doesn't matter. But only when the two power sources go out will what you want to happen happen. If you want to lock a door, for instance, if you step on the pressure plate here, nothing's going to happen because this lock is supplying power to the circuit. Only when both power sources are out will the circuit go out. And now the pressure plate can uh, do the door by itself. But when uh, the lock is supplying power to the circuit, the pressure plate does nothing because the circuit stays powered. Both powered power sources have to be off for the circuit to go out. And it, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, on the on the AND gate, they kind of show it with the a. Uh, a uh, inverter in the back, but you know, it's all the same thing to me. It's still going to work the same way. It's not going to work unless the two power sources go out, and then it will work. Um, if you also, in the wiki, there's this thing called a NAND gate, and this one really annoys me because it's, to me, for me, it's the same thing. you got two power sources um, powering a single circuit here, and only when those two power sources are out, in this case, by supplying power to them, will the uh, circuit go out. It's, it's the same principle as the AND gate, is, as far as I'm concerned. So um, let me show you a, a real-life example I did recently. This is a um, part of an RS NOR latch, but it, don't worry about that part. It, this, when this torch comes on, that, that meant that the RS NOR latch was set, and it would supply power to this torch here, turning it off. And this is the, the beginning of the AND gate. Uh, this power here is powering this torch, and also this power coming in from the button, it's being inverted like the other button over there. This power coming in is also powering this uh, torch. Only when the two conditions are met, when both of those power sources are out, will this torch come on and trigger the next RSNR latch. So I'll show you what happens. When this one was set, that first condition was met, but the torch still doesn't come on because you haven't hit the button yet. So when you hit the button, uh, both lines, both circuits are out. They're not con connected in this case, but they're both powering the same thing, and it comes on. Now let me show you what happens if they are connected. If you wire these up together, it's the same thing. That goes off, and that goes off, and the circuit comes on. So don't get caught up in making your AND gates look exactly like this or more precisely in the wiki, they look like that, yeah. they look like this, I believe. But uh, it, like I said before, if your AND gates look like this, you're doing something wrong in my book. You're wasting space. So just remember the principle that if two power sources, in this case two torches, are powering the same piece of dust here, they both have to be out for the dust will go out, allowing whatever you want to happen, happen. In this case, turn on the torch. So that that is an AND gate in the simplest terms. Don't get caught up in making it look exactly like what the wiki says. So just uh, remember 
two power sources powering the same thing, turn them both off, and uh, you'll get the result you want. Thanks for watching.